Today we're going to be looking at the first aftermath of the new OCG October ban list. Snake Eyes and Ubel are completely erased from the map. Like those decks don't really exist. We're going to be looking at the spiciest deck list from the OCG to show you how the decks have evolved after this really cool ban list and then that there's a new tier one deck in town that is not Snake Eye or Ubel. So this is based on next plays 193rd championship series this is the breakdown there's no deck lists from the event yet but i've grabbed deck lists that are representing those decks after the ban list to show you sort of the evolution and the impact of those ban lists so first of all let's take a look at the pie chart out of i think this is top 34 or something um based on the number up top but you can clearly see that the three best decks are not Ubel or Snake Eye, which is pretty cool. Nine Ryzeal, we already made so many videos about that, talking that, talking about that this is the new best deck. This is, uh, we're gonna look at the deck list. Xyz deck, very, like, spammable. Things are very searchable in this deck, thanks to Seventh Tachyon. It's kind of an amazing, I don't like this type of deck, but kind of an amazing powerhouse deck that can play a lot of non-engine. Very much reminiscent of Zodiac. Malice is the second most represented deck here in Top Cut, which is a Cyber's dark deck that relies on banishing. Two gold sarcophagus in the last ban list really boost this deck. Three blue eyes, three labyrinth, two voiceless, two branded, two tenpai, and the rest of the herd are just like generic pearly striker, true Draco decks, which is pretty cool. Let's jump into the decks. I think that before we we look at the deck list just this is very interesting like the fact that snake eyes and you bell people have chosen not to play those decks is kind of insane this is riseal this is the new best deck in the ocg right now you can see that basically the whole top row in this card are just like your essentially one card combo extenders starters you got ice which is the one card combo and they've decided to incorporate a math mech engine here with super factorial because Circular is still legal. There's also um, Aratama or Sakitama, one of them, just because this is a rank for Turbo and Sharks that can enable that as well. And thanks to this card right here, Seventh Tachyon, which nobody knows when it's going to be released in the TCG, you can search pretty much any card from your deck. I'm going to show you in a second how that works. And then obviously a lot of non-engine, a lot of hand traps. You got your hole traps here to activate with Reflesia. Right? This is the whole thruster, the funnily named card from the Ryzeal strategy. Only two maxi, not choosing to play Fuaris. Nibiru, of course, this is Cyber's deck. You need to be playing Crossout in Nibiru. Ash, the field spell, and the quick play, and a couple of imperms. Now, in the extra deck and in the side deck, what's very interesting, you do see the, the additional maxis here. Now, you have your number monsters that have an attribute and a type. Using 7th Tachyon, let's say you want to get to the Sharks, you reveal SH Arknight here, for example, right? And you can add a monster whose level equal that rank from the deck with the same attribute and type. This is also how they get to Protector of the Sanctuary with Baguska, which is an Earth. Barrier statue, you got your Fire statue here, which I'm not sure exactly how it's searchable. Um, maybe with Bonfire, yeah, they do play the one now limited Bonfire. And then... A whole suite of rank fours in the extra deck. This is the best deck. Just super easy to pilot. Um, boss monster that can pop up to like three or four times a turn. Incredible. One approach to Snake Eye is Fire King. And thankfully we're getting Ulkanix in Rage of the Abyss. Thank God. So you can see Fire King are taking over the Snake Eye engine. Because there's not much left from it. The one Poplar, the one Ash, the one Bellstar, the one Wanted. Sad, kinda. No Oak, but prioritizing Fire King starters, and of course, Azamina. And Dominus Impulse, which is a new secret rare out of Rage of the Abyss. This card is gonna be super impactful. I mean, you should pick up this card. It's gonna be expensive, but yeah. Um, they do still have Apo, which is good, good for them, but this is sort of like a sort of like a step back into the past just with the azamina cards and then we do see you know some floodgates for us in the side again a couple of anti spells maybe that's going to be hit on the next ban list and 
you haven't seen Fiendsmith yet, people do still play it. It's a, sort of like a three card engine here. There's still Lacrima, there's still Lurie, Fiendsmith, one of each Snake Eye card. Look at this. That's wild. And of course, Azamina and tons of hand traps. This is what this deck relies on, but this is starting to look like tier limits after receiving all the hits. They still have Lacrima, which is very, very valuable. Lacrima and Apo still make this deck run. Like, imagine these limitations on our side of the pond. You can't really play the deck anymore. Like, there's there's no win con. You do have the Azamina cards, but thankfully we still have, like, a lot of the Fiendsmith card that allows you to go into DDD and stuff like that. And in the side, we do see a couple of Lancias, probably, I would assume, because of Malice. Like, this kind of kills Malice. We're going to touch that in a second. Tier Limits, Manadium Visas combo here. Pretty cool. We do see Fusion Parasite in the deck. Like, you see... <laughs> this super limited deck. This is what Snake Eye is becoming uh, right now. Fusion Parasite, which you can send, I believe, with Diabolantis. Like, they don't really have any Synchro 8s anymore. It's interesting that they don't play Fiendsmith here or Azamina, because that would work. But Curious is still legal. You still have the tier cards, which are very powerful. Apo. People do still play Lancia because of Malice. We'll get to that in a second. Heavy Storm, of course is a starter in tier, in a two-card combo, if you open that with Soliac. Now, this was the third most represented deck. Blue Eyes White Dragon is back with a Primite engine that allows you to get your vanillas out of the deck. Of course, Dominus Purge, because all your deck is basically light monsters. This doesn't activate the effect, so it doesn't really matter. Three of the Kaiser, three of the Sage, three of the New Maiden, one of the most annoying card in the world, two Maxi, and then we have some blue eyes utilities and um, the true true light, I believe that is, and the new trap, which is really cool to see. And this game plan is probably just relying on, you know, summoning Magia, the Xyz. You got your access to Camellia here, which is an awesome card. And again, we do see the same patterns. This is for Ryzeal, this is for Malice, which are just the two best decks right now. Like this deck kind of can't compete. I would say. Branded has actually received two buffs. Two gold sarcophagus, two branded opening. Grass is a two. So this is one of the takes of the grass branded tier element fusion pile, which I love with the alt arts, right? We have all of them because, you know, people bought the collection. <laughs> you want your, to get your money's worth. Only two Albas, one Ecclesia, three Aluber, three Cartesia. Great. A Stellar, is making its way into the OCG. Good, this was a TCG tech. And of course, three of, of, of this, because it it can be Cartesia, it can be Fallen of Albaz. And then, you know, they got two openings, that's consistency. Two gold arc, that's more consistency. And Tragedy and Mercury are still here. Dragon Ravine and a Shadal engine. And they still have branded Expulsion legal. I don't think that's gonna change, to be honest. Now in the extra deck, Pretty standard, Shadal Engine, Construct, and Winda, and basically one of each. No two Grand Gnoll, no two Albion, no two Mirjit, you can't really rely on that. Malice. This is basically the second best deck. We already made a video about that on the channel. Please go check it out if you want to learn how this deck works and how to play it. Two of Goldsark. No shifters here, but two Goldsark is a huge consistency boost. Like, this is a one-card combo. They are playing Parallel Exceed and Bestials, but no Exceed monsters. So this is just for extending. Just for extending. Right? They do play Appaloosa, which I've seen in the side decks a bit. Because you can make it, but you are... I think you're locked in some part of the combo. And then three Impulse, which I think here could be in the main as well. Because this is a dark deck. Pure dark. I think that... Maybe Crusadia Avermax, it doesn't activate the effect. Firewall Dragon is a light as well. But when you activate it, you're just not going to use the other effects. This is cool. Orcust Pile. Good stuff. With Cartesia. With Wanted. Engine. Azamina, Sinful Spoil Deception. Amazing card. We were just told that there's going to be new Orcust support. So people are getting hyped for that. Right? Two Harp. Interesting. So... I think this is a pretty interesting take on Orcus because Sinful Spoil Deception 
tributes monsters from Fielder Hand, which means that Sinful Spoil, Deception, plus Nightmare or Harp could essentially mean that you go full combo because it gets your combo going. You can send Harp to the grave. So sometimes people do that with Runic when they discard from the effect of Hugin. But here, you have a lot of ways to send it, which I think is pretty cool. Pretty cool synergy. Azamina cards are great. Um, obviously, if you get to Cartesia and a Dark Monster, you get to send one of the Orcas to the graveyard, but you also get Grangnil, which can send Wand or Nightmare from the deck. And then we're playing pretty standard stuff. No Apo, which is interesting, but you usually end on like a Ding setup with the Azamina cards because that's a separate engine. IP, Counter Trap. We do also play the Diabal Star Trap, which is also an additional negate if you open it. Good stuff. I like that. I like that. And now, this is the big question in my mind. How does this compete? So, obviously, Chandra to one. Prosperity is at one. Terraforming is at one. Sang and Summoning is at one. Right? They're starting to play Desires. What happens if you banish Chandra off Desires? Like, you do have Genroku, which can sometimes become a tuner. So, I guess... They're just maxing out on that. Two more bricks and shifters in the main. I mean, yeah, this is Tenpai. No Dominus Impulse, not even in the side. But we do have Typhon and Ancient Fairy Dragon, which we can... Huh. Why do we play Ancient Fairy Dragon? If someone wants to tell me, I don't see another field spell. So maybe there's something I'm missing here. But in the side deck, we do see a lot of the synchros. And of course, this package, two Typhon. OCG stuff. Lastly, this deck actually came in fourth in representation, tied with a bunch of other decks, but Voiceless Voice just stays the same. Dominus Purge is not here, but Lancia is kind of back, to be honest. Maybe this is a good time to pick up some QCR Lancias. If you're, you know, because Malice is going to be out November, I think. Yeah. So I think a few takeaways that we can take from this meta breakdown is that Ryzeal needs to be countered somehow. I think people are just going to play D-Barrier because this deck is very Xyz heavy. I think that Lancia is actually going to be pretty good. Like this is a good time to pick up if you want some high rarity. This is a rarity collection card, then you should probably pick it up right now. And Branded, getting two, like a couple of boosts from Branded Opening and Gold Sark with Puppet, Sanctifier, and Expulsion Legal, they might be hit on the next ban list, to be honest. I think these are a few takeaways here, and Blue Eyes managing to keep up, and, and Tenpai too, like with the head above the water here, for somehow, I don't really know. Thank you so much for watching this OCG metagame breakdown. Leave your comments below on what do you think the best deck out of these is gonna be in the TCG. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in the next time. Peace.